Ladies and gentlemen, greetings and salutations. You are all most welcome to the launch of the seven piece luxury tanning gift set, the Icons from Iconic Bronze. This is a new and exclusive gift set. It launches with Boots Ireland, launches in, star, uh, in store tomorrow, the 4th, but it's online right now exclusively at Boots. Dot IE. Like I say, you're all very welcome. I know what a lot of people at this point will be thinking. Why on earth is Owen McDermott hosting a launch for a tanning brand? I am the long-suffering boyfriend. I was thinking about this for a while, and I came up with a few reasons. Long-suffering boyfriend of a lady who loves nothing more than an old sun-kissed glow. And we men in these predicaments have been underrepresented traditionally. So I think I think Iconic Bronze is doing like a, a, an across-the-barrier reach-out like a community inclusion program for disenfranchised <laughs> boyfriends plus we're going to talk a lot about love island and its involvement with the brand and how it's kind of affected how they do things and i do know a few things about that having worked on love island australia so you're all very welcome joining us now this is kind of like the bat cave it's like a secret undisclosed location so jo uh, joining us now from the iconic bronze hq is brand manager for iconic bronze amanda david hello hello how are you <laughs> can i just say this this whole scene here it didn't come a moment too soon i myself yesterday just put up my christmas tree but you're putting me to shame there that is <laughs> that's stupendous well i can take all the credit i cannot say i did too much of it. I swept the floor after all the bobbles and glitter fell, of course, but the girls obviously gave us a huge, huge hand putting all this together. So team effort as always. <laughs> okay, well, it's a beautiful team effort and you yourself look wonderful oh, also. Thank hey, you. Thanks so much for having me to be here um, to talk about this. I want to know, because one thing we've been doing on 2FM the last while is we've been shouting out, because it's a tricky time for a lot of businesses, we've been shouting out different Irish companies and the ingenuity and the success stories of some companies, it's just, it's really, it's its wonderful to see it and warm your heart. Can you give us an idea? Linda Stinson owns the company. You're celebrating your three year birthday. Can you tell us about Iconic Bronze, the brand, its story, its journey um, and where it's come from? Uh, to be honest, it's actually a really, really interesting story and I find whenever we're going to presentations or we're going to meetings and we actually tell people the story, they're very, very shocked because it's something that they're not quite aware of. So Iconic Bronze is a sister brand to Bellamy Anta Luxury Tanning and how Iconic Bronze came to life, obviously our director and CEO Linda Stinson created Bellamy Anta to be a luxury, premium, high-end, clean tanning brand and obviously the expensive ingredients make it that little bit higher in price point so with that a retailer kept knocking on the door and asking her and begging her for Bellamyanta. but obviously if you're in that premium space only certain retailers will match your brand so she kept saying no and no and then what she decided was look there's actually very very few luxury mass tanning brands on the market there was a huge gap for it so you could get your lower price point tanning brands where you would kind of compromise say on the ingredients list or it might have alcohol in it to make it dry quicker or it doesn't kind of smell as nice and then you had your really high-end premium products that didn't have that nasty smell that had the beautiful ingredients in it but nowhere had you a brand that kind of met everything in the middle where you had that gorgeous luxury feel product that was free from perfumes, parabens, alcohols, nasties, had some gorgeous ingredients infused back into it, but at that middle range kind of price point. So with that, she did identify a gap in the market to where that's where Iconic Bronze was born. So with that retailer, she was like, I can't give you Bellamy Ante, but what I can do is I can give you something nearly just as good, but at an affordable price point for your customers. So that's actually how Iconic Bronze was born. So it has a luxury feel to it. And what we always say, it's that little bit slice of affordable luxury. You're trading up a couple of euros to pay a little bit extra than what you would for all the mass brands, but then you're trading down a little bit in euros to what you'd pay for premium brands. And then the quality and the payoff of the product is just the same as something that you're paying for at a premium price point. So that's exactly how Iconic Bronze was born. I love that. So if there's if there's Ryanair and private jet hire, you guys are Aer Lingus. Exactly. There you go. So like that, like when I was in college, I used to be buying cheap tans because you're buying kind of cheapish everything. You're on a budget. You're leaving your money for some alcohol and nights out. You were buying cheaper brands. So 
yes, they were okay, but they might be a little bit orangey or they might have that little bit of a smell on it or the quality of the ingredients on your skin weren't that good. But I was never ever going to pay 30, 35, 40 euro for that product that was going to leave my skin feeling nourishing, soft, healthy and give me a glow. But if I was in college, I would go and buy Iconic Bronze because I'm just paying that little bit extra but I'm getting so much more in terms of quality for the product. So yeah, sure. that's where we I are. Love, I love the fact that, that Bella Mianta was denied to retailers because you're not fancy enough. I really like that. <laughs> yeah, well, hey. I suppose there's, there's, yeah, there's always a place for a brand in a market. And I suppose the very smart thing is knowing what is a fit for your brand and what isn't a fit for your brand. I think a lot of people, they do sell their brand to everybody and they think of the sale. But I think you have to think long term, what's actually a priority for your brand? Is this our ethos? Does, does that brand fit with ours? So at least now we're very lucky that we're in a position that sometimes people might come looking for iconic bronze, but we feel Bellamyanta might be a better fit or completely vice versa. So we can always capture people that come to us with queries looking for either brand. Sure. Um, and hey, I talked about it being a big success story. Um, let's blitz through some of the credentials. Now, in the past three years, between Iconic Bronze and, and Bella Mianta, how many people are working for the company now? Uh, I think we're at 16. I have Victoria here in the background. Is 16 correct, people? I'm pretty sure that's where we are. So we're waving in and out of the team is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And the offices are growing and growing and growing. We're at this stage, we're like, we think Linda needs to put in plan and permission to get us just this big, huge HQ. So maybe that's the next step. <laughs> you, can, you can be like Google. You have breakout areas. I'm and telling you. Iconic bronze beanbags <laughs> and all the like. It's coming. Although it looks like you might have that anyway. Um, now tell me, so you guys are on a pretty exclusive list. You're a selected client of Enterprise Ireland. You also won the most innovative brand from the DCU Ryan Academy, the Female High Flyer Awards. I'm sure you were delighted. I'm sure Linda was absolutely thrilled when the company won. What do you have to do to win the, the innovative brand from the Ryan Academy? What, what's involved in that award? So basically businesses across Ireland were shortlisted. So it was essentially for female entrepreneurs and business owners. So Linda, myself and Elle, we went through a 13 week course and each week it focuses on different areas of businesses where they were going to basically train and upskill us as our team that will give us skills to be equipped to go and talk to buyers in a meeting, to negotiate prices and margins in a meeting, to be able to present, say, if there was someone that was going to be a possible future investor. So all these different scenarios. So week on week, it was almost like being back in college. You had a full day, one day every single week, and it could go from one day you could be talking about your financial plans. The next day they could have you up in front of all of the female entrepreneurs doing your brand presentation. So it equipped you with different skills every single week. And then once the final week came, all, every brand had to get up and basically present a pitch if they were going to sell their brand or if they were going to look for someone to invest in their brand. So Linda, Ellen, and I did the presentation on the day. And then obviously we were very fortunate to come out with the most innovative brand. And I think, I think we were just so happy with winning anything full stop because we didn't think, well, not that we didn't think we would, but we just, it was never something we did the course for. We did it to learn and we learned so much that everybody, Neve, everyone down there was absolutely brilliant. So to come away with such an accolade, considering the tan market in Ireland is, there are a lot of brands. It is saturated and people say that to us all the time. So what is your point of difference is the main thing that people say to us and it's basically the quality of the product it is affordable luxury so i think the dc ryan academy they they kind of really recognized that that was a point of difference for us and why iconic brand's success story has been so good to date yeah and i guess that that's the thing isn't it? i suppose if you are in a saturated marketplace like you say you do really have to stand out to get the nod exactly. so exactly yeah, it's a testament. Um, talk to us about the partnership with Boots because I guess, like you said, with Bella Mianta, maybe people come looking for that product and you go, you're not quite uh, the right fit for us. I'm sure there are literally thousands of companies clamoring to have the kind of partnership you're now entering into with Boots. So how does that happen? Is there... Is there like a selection process? Is it like the Hunger Games? Is there a Dragon's <laughs> Den style? What happened? Everything about Tan in Ireland is like the Hunger Games. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a really good relationship with Mark and his team from Boots. So obviously Bellamy Anta launched in there, I'm going to say maybe three and a half years ago. And from that, the relationship has just grown. So 
Iconic Bronze has been in there now, I think for a little over two years. But with that, Iconic Bronze had their first year of the Irish Local Gift last year. And what they do is they'll obviously buy X amount of product. They'll see how it goes marketing wise, how it goes on the shelf. And then each year kind of gets that little bit bigger and better. So last year, obviously, they bought X amount. This year it was increased and they bought X amount. So for us each year, we place a lot of time and a lot of energy into our marketing into our social media, our digital media, our influencer campaigns, even the gifting that we do, like everything is done really, really well, but we have to obviously be able to move those products off the shelf. Getting getting a project like this or getting sales, it's sometimes that's actually the easy part. It's moving those products off the shelf and off the online. That's actually the hardest part. So once it's launched today, Today is almost nearly the easy part done. They have the products, we've everything set up, so it's now hoping that everybody loves the gift set that we've put together, they love the price point, and that they basically enjoy the gift as much as we do. Okay, well, on that note, <laughs> here it is, Iconic Bronze, the icons. Now, Yay. you very kindly sent me a couple of boxes of these, and Aoife, my girlfriend, you know, she she's done well for herself but, and, and <laughs> she, she buys nice things occasionally for herself she treat herself she squeals like a child on christmas oh, morning when she opens the box. she's delighted with this so can you talk us through what's inside and what might get people excited for this gift, gift absolutely set? of course so you're holding it up there so everyone can see it and hopefully by now everyone will be after receiving their packages so they have them as well so this is the perfect gift set to basically prep your tan apply your tan and then enhance your tan for a further glow. So the first product, I'll probably go in a sequence of maybe how I would use it. The first product is our self tan eraser, which is here. So this gently exfoliates your skin. So you can use this two ways. You can either use this at the start of the week before you apply your tan to prep and exfoliate your skin cells because starting with a really clean base is nearly the most important part of your tan routine. It's like you have to have a blank canvas to work with. A lot of people are like, why, are my why is my tan patchy? Or it's really sticking in areas. You really have to have a really clean canvas to work with before you start. So this, this helps exfoliate your skin cells. So you can use this before you tan, but then as your tan is fading off, this will also help remove your tan. So it's almost nearly a two-step product that can be used at the start of the week and the end of the week. It can be used on dry skin, or it can be used on wet skin. So how I use it is I just pump it. It's like a white foam. You leave it on your body for a few minutes and then you simply just wash away your tan. Um, mm -hmm. Then we will go into the medium lotion. So this is probably a product that I would use during the week. So I, I think nearly every person in Ireland, boys and girls are the same. They have different products for different days of the week, different products for when they're going on holidays, different products for weddings. I don't know what it is, but it's like you have different products for nearly every occasion. So I would always tan with a lotion during the week because I just want a nice natural light glow. The lotion is really hydrating and nourishing on your skin as well. So everyone, so anyone that has that little bit of a drier skin, they can use this product. Um, and that's in the shade medium. So that will keep everybody bronze for during the week. Then we have our dark mousse. So this is my favorite product. It's so nice, really gold olive natural tone to it. This is actually our best seller across the entire range. It outsells everything, I think, either two or three times. So this is this is like the Mac Daddy of the iconic bronze suite. So that's so good at it. What I think it just dries so quickly. Like me, I'm a bit of a lazy person when it comes to all like yeah. this beauty stuff. Like I even had one of the girls this morning, Michaela, I was like, can you uh, throw a pair of lashes on me? And she literally stuck me to a chair and attacked me because I probably looked like I had no makeup on at all. So if you're that little bit on the lazy side like me, this just literally glides on like there's a guide color straight away and it literally develops over time. So my sister always says to me like, how long do I leave this on for? And how long do I, like when do I shower it off? Because our products smell so nice, I literally tan and go. Like I put my, I will shower exfoliate put my tan on get dressed and go out like i'm i do it kind of backwards a lot of people feel like they need to shower but that's usually to get the smell away but we have fig mandarin and orange blossom in our products so not that problem here we're all good um then we have these products to help enhance so 
This is your matte instant in dark. So again, during the week I like a sun kiss look and then at the weekend I like to be dark, dark, dark. I don't know what it is. It's almost like a split personality you could say. So at the weekend, if I've applied my dark mousse, I also played camogie, so I have quite a few um, scars and bruises down my legs. So I always use an instant for more coverage on my legs. So if you're somebody that does have anything like that on your legs, little bits of imperfections, this just helps smooth smooths that out for you. So you can use this over your lotion or over your mousse when they're fading or when they've just been applied to make it deeper and add more coverage. Or you can actually just use this product by yourself. So I'm quite lazy, but I know a lot of other my friends are even lazier and they won't even want to put on the mousse or the lotion. They just go straight in with the instant tan. So it literally depends on what kind of tanning personality you have. I think we should section them out at this stage. <laughs> and um, then you, for seven personalities. I know, seriously. It's like e even like amongst the office girls in the group, like it's kind of a, an ongoing, what's your favorite product? And like everybody has a different favorite product for a completely different reason. So someone might never ever wear this matte product, but might always wear the mousse. So it literally just is down to personal preference. Then this is uh, this is the underdog here. This is our airbrush body bling. I think this is probably one of my favorite products from both ranges across Bellamyanta and Iconic Bronze. So in this, it gives you a little bit of color, but it gives you that airbrush effect. So it's basically like carrying around a real life filter with you. So you don't have to swipe right. You don't have to get the Paris filter. You literally just have to pop on the body bling. So it's an aerosol. You just spray it on. Some people actually, the way I do it is I just spray it on and I don't rub it in because I'm like, I just want it to be like airbrushed head to toe. But then some people use our um, application mitt to like put it in. And then some people use our new Kabuki brush. So literally again, it just depends. So this again can be worn by itself or can enhance the products that you've already on throughout the week. Then we have our Miami, Miami matte bronzer. So I think this is exciting because it's the first time we've ever actually had a makeup product in any of our Christmas sets. So it's a really exciting, I think it's an exciting time for Iconic Bronze because it is diversifying. We are moving into other channels. Obviously it's a well-renowned tan brand now. We're three years in business. So there's a lot of really exciting things to come. And I think this year we launched our two bronzers and our two highlighters and everyone has just been raving about them. So people use them on their own or they use them to enhance their tan. So this is the Ibiza Shimmer. I think we all could do a bit of Ibiza right now. Um, and this can just be worn on your face or on your body to contour, to bronze. A lot of girls in our brand ambassadors actually use it on their eyes as a base or as an eyeshadow. And then again, it can be used on your collarbones. It can be used down your legs. So it's just anything to give you that extra bit of a glow. And then in the set as well, I'm going to reach over here out trying to fall out of this dress. <laughs> out here like a rip. Um, we have our luxury application mitt. So our luxury application mitt is double sided. It's velvet velour and it has a lovely thumb on it. With that as well on the inside of it, it has material so that the product doesn't seep into your hands. And what you can do is you can actually machine wash this at 30 degrees and literally just use it again. So every week when I'm doing my wash, it literally just goes into my regular wash with my clothes. And then you have a resealable bag to pop it back into just because like that, a lot of people have their little tan drawer or their makeup drawer. So they like to keep things separate. So this is, the little pack is great because it just makes sure that there's no like dust or anything like that gathering on your me. So each time you go to do your tan, then your application is going to be really seamless. And that's the, the Icons gift set. That's a serious amount of I stuff. I know, yeah. And I suppose because the, if it's a gift set, right, and I assume you're going to shift a whole load of them for Christmas, you might have a lot of people like me who might buy them for a girlfriend, a partner, whatever, um, as a stocking filler, etc., who don't actually have a clue about tanning. So um, uh, am I right in saying that if you are walking into a boots and you're someone like me and you're looking around and you're slightly daunted and you don't really know the nuances between what different products do and what they mean and what so-and-so lotion is for versus so-and-so mousse, etc. This is kind of a one-stop shop. It's got everything that you would need in a gift set. Absolutely. And I just think the packaging in itself is so nice and vibrant and Christmassy and 
even without wrapping it in paper or in a bag or with a ribbon, it already looks really, really nice. It looks like a lovely gift to get. And then obviously the price point as well, it was 85. Well, the RRP is 85, but this entire gift set is down to 39.99, which is literally crazy because if you were to get your tan eraser, your mousse, and we will say your instant, the three of those products themselves would nearly come to 39.99. So the fact okay. that you're practically getting nearly four items free, if that's how you were to calculate it. So like this entire set would probably keep someone tanned at least three or four months. Well, maybe a little bit longer given obviously the restrictions and stuff that are in place now, but- 17 I, years. Yeah, <laughs> but it hasn't stopped people from tanning. Like, you know, we're obviously very fortunate that people are still buying tan. I think what, what's happening is people still want to feel good and feel nice and have a routine. So like I'm even lazy and I'm still having a little tan every week just to get that little bit of glow and to kind of feel nice. Sure. Um, okay, so it's, it's exceptional value. Be quick to purchase it either for yourself or as yeah. a gift. I assume it's going to sell out pretty damn quick. Um, talk to me. We've done the economics. Talk to me about the ambassadors because you guys have worked with a lot of the Love Island heads, Georgia, Kendall, Zara, um, Lucy. You're going to be working with the new Love Islander before I try prize that out of you. How important do you think those kind of associations are versus like traditional advertising? That's kind of become its own monster, really, hasn't it? For clothes, for tanning, for any number of things. Yeah, like for us, I think there's a place for every form of advertising. A lot of people are very, they're, they're very kind of gone towards one direction and nearly forgetting about another. But for us, I love nothing more than picking up a magazine or going to get the Sunday papers. Like, I feel like there's nearly a place for everything. Everything just has to be used that little bit smarter or more efficiently. So we kind of try to keep a relationship open with nearly all aspects of media, like that we do our press launches, we do product launches and events, then we have brunches with our brand ambassadors. So we try to keep it very wide scaled. We work with people like we have an affiliate program where we have 100 plus girls who are dedicated to doing our content. Then we have our- 100 plus? Yeah, yeah, our affiliates. And they post content for us all the time, IGTVs, uh, Instagram lives like they do content for us all the time and they're dedicated to iconic brands then we have our Irish brand ambassadors some of them have been with us since day one we have um, I might as well name them off while I'm here we have uh, Diane Everett in Waterford we have Jade Mullet who is in Wexford we have Sinead De, De Butler who's in Kilkenny Chloe Ormond then who's reaching towards a younger market in Dublin we have Jerry Labs, Emma Carney Olivia McVeigh and Andrea McGarher up here in the north. So we kind of have a wide range of people that we use on an ongoing basis. But using, using the Love Island Girls has been an important piece for us. And I think it's more so to keep the brand really fun, really vibrant, but almost very trendy. I don't think there's any person in Ireland that probably wears tan that doesn't watch Love Island. I think it's just, it's synonymous with each other. It's all about like, what bikinis are they wearing? What online outlets are they shopping on? What products are they using that they can purchase in boots? So the association of tan is very, very clearly linked with the girls from Love Island. Like we've worked probably the closest, I would say, with Georgia, who was there three years ago. But we got on so well with Georgia. She actually ended up being our campaign model in our photo shoot, shoot in Ibiza, I think it was nearly a year and a half, two years ago. And what we do is we like to keep our relationships kind of long standing. Like there's a lot of people that we've worked with pretty much since Iconic Bronze started. So it's almost like a little family. That's lovely. And but really, this is the question I really want to know is that when you're deciding who, because obviously there's new Islanders every year and people will be popular for different reasons or infamous for different reasons. Do you do hardcore market research into their stats and their followers or do all the all this team just get around the table and go, well, I like her. I really don't like her. How do you pick? Oh, that's a tricky question. I suppose it's a little bit of everything. Like there's always the top girls, the top tier people with the biggest followers that everybody has fallen in love with and everybody wants to use. So sometimes there is a little bit of, a, like you said, a hunger game situation going on with trying to get the ambassadors. But to be honest, a, a huge part of it, yes, we want to ensure that they look good, 
but a lot of it is about personality for us and that goes with our Irish ambassadors, our affiliates. They don't always have to look like they're somebody from Love Island for us. Iconic Bronze is a really inclusive brand and we never want it to be kind of stereotyped as such. So for us, we really like the personality of the people we're going to be working with because at the end of the day, you're going to be doing brunches with them. They're going to be coming to your product launches. There's prospect photo shoots that you're going to have with them. So if you're going to be spending all this time with someone that's an ambassador for the brand, you kind of want to make sure the team get on with them. They can have a bit of crack. They're going to join you for dinner. They'll come down and have a drink. You don't want to kind of that they're very closed off to VIP that they don't want to speak to you. So for us, I think the personality aspect is really important. Fabulous. Um, and I'm glad you said that as well, that it's not purely about the aesthetics, because, yeah, mm. more of that as, as, as we move forward in the world in general. OK, Absolutely. I know there's some questions from people that are watching that we want to get to very quickly. So Super. let me remind you all about the competition. <laughs> We're giving away 20 uh, Irish gift sets to 10 lucky winners. So you're going to win a gift set for you and your pal. It's really easy. You go to Iconic Bronze Instagram page. You check out their most recent post. you got to follow them. The usual, like the post and tag your tanning bestie. Keep an eye out for the launch post. It's not going to land until this evening, but it'll all be there. You got to like, you got to tag your pal, you got to follow Iconic Bronze, and then the winners will be announced on the page. Now, before we hit everybody's questions, and if you have got questions that you haven't submitted yet, you can do so on the Zoom chat link that you're watching on. Very quickly, what's to come for Iconic Bronze? Um, because I know you're branching out a little bit. So Iconic Bronze this year, obviously, we brought out the two bronzers and the two highlighters, some accessories, then our makeup bag, our kabuki brush. We're going to be diversifying down into basically colour cosmetics. So that's the route that Iconic Bronze will be going. So it'll be almost like Iconic Bronze slash Iconic Cosmetics. So yeah, it's a really, really exciting time for the brand. I won't give away too much or I'll be in fierce trouble. <laughs> Um, but yeah, yeah, lots to come. I think I think 2021 is definitely going to be our biggest year yet. Can all of us watching on this Zoom launch come on your yacht when you're billionaires? Yes, for sure. 100%. <laughs> Everybody hopes someone's screen recording that. We all just got to be like, wonderful. Okay, Amanda, can we blitz through some of the questions? Yeah, of course. Okay, I'll just, uh, I'll go with them from the top as they arrived. Don Hamilton asked, I think you might have answered this, which product is the best seller, the lotion or the mousse? I think you said it was the mousse. This mousse, and in particular, it's actually this dark mousse. So this is the shade that's the best seller across the entire range. This one here. So it's uh, the dark give mousse. Us, give, give us a, a, a 10 second answer on why you think that is the best seller again. I think because it dries really quick. So it's great for the lazy girl like me. You just pop yes, it on and you're right. done. <laughs> Uh, someone, uh, oh, Laura Fox at 2FM's very own Laura Fox says, can you make a bucket-sized bottle of the body bling? It's the best ever. <laughs> you literally just want to bathe in bloody bling. Like, we literally, we're only talking about earlier on, I was down in uh, the office and I was like blitzing my legs saying I have to get body bling on and we're just saying, this is such an underrated product. Like, it really is the underdog of our range. And then everyone that we talked to is like, I'm obsessed with body bling. I absolutely love body bling. And we're like, why does that not move quicker? It's crazy. So yes, maybe we'll think about that, the bucket size. Bucket size. <laughs> Especially for Emma 2 Costello. FM. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Emma Costello asks, she says, thank you, first of all, so spoiled today. Can't wait You're to welcome. lash on the moose. Never use instant because it rubs off so quickly for me, no matter the brand. What's the best way to keep an instant tan on? So some tans that are instant aren't actually water resistant. So I remember this again from college years wearing sun shimmer. <laughs> I can say the brand now because I think it's going, it, the, their instants are not going to be a thing. But you, you, would, you would have your instant tan on and if it was raining, you would look down and it was like literally going down your legs. You had lines. With the tan that we have, the instant it's actually water resistant. So if it rains, this tan won't come off. Like you literally have to lather suds or soap or shower wash in your hands with lukewarm water and properly rub to get it off. So we actually have um, a brand ambassador, Olivia. She's very good at her experiments with her tan and stuff. But she actually did a really good piece for us, I think, when these launched. She basically put the, put the product on was moving her hand underneath like the bath at home and was like recording herself and her tan was literally perfect. So hopefully that works for you. You can let us know. 
done. Thank you. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Roisin Scanlon wants to know what uh, what iconic bronze tan product is the best for dry skin? Because I guess that's a concern for a lot of people. Hi, Roisin. <laughs> we work with Roisin. She's a doll. Um, lotion would probably be the best, probably because it's just that little bit more hydrating and nourishing on your skin. So our products are free from alcohol, perfume, parabens, any nasties. It's fully vegan, animal cruelty free. And actually during the first lockdown, we got PETA certified, which is a really, really good accolade for the brand to have. So when we actually say these things, it's true to form of the actual product. So. A lot of time when people are using products on their skin, there's alcohol in it because the alcohol tends to make the product dry quicker. But with ours, because we don't have alcohol in it, it just means that it's a lot more kind on your skin when you're tanning. So hopefully that helps. And you got the Peter thumbs up, which is excellent. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Melissa C wants to know, what's the best shade if you very fair skin and want a natural looking tan? To be honest, any of them. Like I am... Um, as pale as pale can be like i'm probably paler than this dress naturally i don't take the natural sun i was in thailand for four months one time my friends were laughing at me i literally came home lighter they were like what is the deal so when i'm going on holidays i actually have to have a spray tan before i go and i gradually get lighter as my spray tan fades throughout the week but like i can wear the medium shades the dark shades and the extra dark shades. So with our product, it actually picks up the melanin in your own skin color anyway. But I would say if you are lighter skinned, like try medium. And then if you feel confident and maybe if you don't have anywhere planned to go, test out the dark, see how you're <laughs> feeling. And then if you have something important and you're happy with it, you're good to go. <laughs> okay, love it. Um, can the body bling be layered with other finishing products? Yes, it can. So with the body bling, we use it over everything, over lotion, over mousse, over instant. We actually use the body bling and then we layer it with the bronzer. We put on the bronzer and we split it with the body bling. The body bling is kind of used literally from head to toe. One of our ambassadors, Jade actually, she fully contours her face with our body bling. And she's been okay. seeing actually, yeah, she does. I think it's Ireland AM TV slots. And she's always saying, did you see it on Ireland AM? And she literally full on contours her face with the body bling. So it's like a multi-use product. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hey, we're back. Hey. We're back. We're just okay, delighted Technical to be back. Glitch. Excellent. <laughs> now, here's one. I'm delighted. Derek, uh, Derek Hartigan is here, our favorite uh, TV3 weatherman and athlete supremo. Um, and he's some man for the grooming as well. He says, great to tune in, team. One for the lads. Does the tan come off easily? I hate destroying crisp white shirts. And I suppose you could branch that out to anybody who wants to wear tan and also wear white and this might be this might be a problem that no tanning company will ever crack but what's i guess what's the the measure you can take the main thing then like for me i always say that i am lazy so i like to tan and go and then put on my clothes but if i do that and i'm wearing a white dress when i take off the white dress the inside of the dress is going to be tan because i still haven't washed off that guide color but that's why actually a lot of people apply their lotion or apply their mousse products and after a couple of hours, depending on how it's developed, because the longer you leave it on, the deeper it develops, they would then wash off the guide colour. And once you've washed off the guide colour of the product, then you shouldn't have any of it on your white shirts or your white clothing. So for someone that does like to wear white, or like you, Derek, if you're wearing white shirts, what you could do is try the mousse or the lotion, leave it on for three, four, five, six hours, however long you want, the, deep, the longer you leave it on, the deeper your colour is going to be. But then before you're obviously going to get dressed to go out or go to work, what you can do is shower and actually take the guide colour off before you put on the white clothing and that should work perfect for you. And actually, very quickly, do you, I don't know if there's any research even done into this, but I suppose people are becoming way more conscious around skin safety and not wanting to sit out under the sun. Do you notice, is there much more of an uptake in lads using tanning products? Absolutely. I, I like find it funny, like when some people are like, really, men use tan? Like for Iconic Bronze, like I'd say we have at least a 28 year 30, 70 split. Like we get tagged weekly from men doing tanning tutorials like prep tutorials like absolutely it's absolutely it's crazy we don't get natural sun here 
And like people used to go on sunbeds to get a little bit of colour. So whether you're male or female, they all use sunbeds. There was no difference in them using sunbeds. So I think it has become a very natural thing where a lot of men do fake tan. And for us, isn't it more important that people are confident and be able to wear fake tan if you are a man, as opposed to going and having a sunbed just to have a little colour? It's so much healthier for your skin safer for your skin like obviously Ireland has such a high level of skin cancer because people think if we don't have sun we don't have to protect our skin but that's not the case at all whether we have sun or not your skin is still being exposed so that's kind of really how fake tan probably started or is so big in Ireland because you're better to have an alternative to going out and lying in the sun or going on a sunbed and it's like literally just fake it until you make it yeah, sure. Absolutely. If I could make it, it's a good advice. Let's do one or two more before we wrap it up and send it home. Um, uh, Image Media have stopped by. Hello. Uh, tanning has often brought out the inner Egypt in me. Top three tips for when you mess up, please. Oh, it depends where they mess up. So let me see now. I would have to say the instant is my best friend if I mess up. So usually where I mess up, again, because lazy in Russian, so like I messed up my hand, like this hand today. I don't know if you can see that quite clearly. You're a little bit away. And I was like, what am I going to do? I'm on a tanning tutorial, Zoomed this morning with all these press and my tan is not good because I was lazy and did it last minute. So literally this morning what I did was I just applied some of our instant tan over my hands, then a little bit of bronzer, and then down my legs I applied the bronzer the body bling so for me I would never go in and strip like a place that I've done really badly some people would and this will the tan razor will work wonders if you are that type of person but for me I'm like by the time I take it off put it back on I'm gonna have to throw on body bling instant or the bronzer anyway so I literally just go straight in with either of these products here to basically patch myself up okay hopefully that <laughs> helps <very> slightly <laughs> Very finally, we'll send it home with this. Um, Mark Bradshaw was on. Just a prediction. Do you have like, is there a place that you stock? Is there a flagship boot store? He says, which store do you predict will sell out first? I feel like he's trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> Hi, Mark. Um, oh, let me see. I'm going to say Liffey Valley has to be the flagship store for Iconic France. Okay. Yeah, Okay. I think so. Well, the point is, it's probably going to sell out everywhere. Um, so Hopefully. get your dibs in early. If you are uh, going online to buy it, you can do a boots.ie or get into store quickly. Um, it's physically in store tomorrow, Amanda. That's right? Yeah, that's it. In store tomorrow. So be quick. <laughs> available right now on boots.ie and remember um check out the iconic bronze instagram page this evening for the competition that's going to go live they'll have all the details there on how you can win there's 20 gift sets to be given away um listen amanda thank you so much oh thank uh, you. you and to linda it's a huge irish success story it really is thank and you. it's just like i mentioned we've been doing all this stuff with businesses irish businesses around the country on 2fm and it's just so wonderful to see a company thriving having a great time, uh, uh, having a whole lot of fun. And like I say, sending it home. Super. Thanks so much, Joan. And thanks everyone for joining in. <laughs> thanks, Emil, everybody. Happy shopping. Bye.